Power Show was exciting for me. It was an interesting process. I actually met with Mark, Mark Kenton first, and we talked about developing the actual project and creating the show, and then he brought Kitten, Courtney into the fold. And then when Courtney got there, it started to really get to be fun. Not that Mark isn't fun, <laughs> but Courtney, you know, I'm like. cuter than he is. Yep, and we collaborated and we worked until we started to develop the actual characters for the actual show. And um, I started writing music based on the actual characters and I just send it over so it was like 10, about yeah. 10 different films. Mark has a lot of friends, did you notice? <laughs> Mark Johnson. Yeah. You know, but <laughs> we started writing music for the actual project and sending it over to her so she can have things to be inspired by where we was actually going and it, I mean, it, it evolved. It changed quite a few times, right? Like about two. Oh, absolutely. Well, what, uh, when we first got together, you know, it was this incredible collaboration because 50's a storyteller. Rap artists and country music artists are storytellers. So he's got a great command of character and of beginning, middle, and end, and all of that stuff. He's a great writer. So we got together and started going back and forth. And then he got inspired and started writing music. And he would send me the music, and then I would write with the music playing. And we would just go back and forth. And you know, the development process for any television show takes a long time. So what the show was at first is not what the show is now. It came, you know, it came a long distance. And then on top of that, when you're a writer, when you're a writer creator of a show. What you do is you make a black and white drawing, and then the actor comes in and fills in the color. So I had Ghost on paper, but it wasn't until Omari showed up that Ghost became real and, and got a life. No matter what <laughs> film you shoot, it's going to be somewhere it, in one market. Right. That's true. Like it, it, there's, there's no other. It, it's an exciting backdrop having it be in New York City. It's a, a huge, diverse group of people in the city. 13 million people in the city. You see so many different. Everyone sees someone who looks like them in the actual show, so it's exciting. He number one on the call sheet. He's the lead man right here, Amari Harwood. Um, outside of that and the opportunity that, you know, I met with these three people. It's very ironic because these are the three that I took the meetings with. Um, it started with Courtney and then it moved to Mark Hanton and then I, I sat down and talked to, to Curtis. And uh, I think what's most exciting is to know that they've, I tend to enjoy, um, perhaps being very athletic and someone who's got an athletic background. I tend to like the ball being put in my hand. Um, a minute left on the clock, fourth quarter. <laughs> Courtney has, has affectionately coined me her quarterback for seven months now. Mark calls me CEO and 50 just keeps saying, you're number one on the call sheet. <laughs> um, it's very nice for the, for the collage of those three titles to be given to me and I enjoy the, the challenge. That's what's exciting.